another thing that I've talked about a lot, I'm sure Marty knows I've talked about this a lot, and a lot of people are talking about a lot, is Miss McMahon's experience with world wrestling entertainment, uh, wrestling, professional wrestling, and the controversy that surrounds that. How much of that do you think is a factor in her numbers not really moving that much, or, or relative, or, or negative numbers yeah. are, are, are being bad? Uh, the, the history with wrestling, I, I don't think I really need to go into it in graphic detail here, but how much do you think that is a factor in her numbers not really moving as well as she should be moving, considering that she spent twenty million dollars so far in this race? Yeah, I haven't I haven't done any polling on that subject, uh, so it's hard for me to answer uh, with any real sense of, of uh, preciseness. Um, but let's put it this way. Uh, when I was a kid growing up uh, in Connecticut, I had a chance to go over to New London and see Haystack Calhoun <laughs> and shake his hand. And let me tell you, Haystack Calhoun, he was one big guy. Big guy, yeah. And, and he had a chain around his neck and he had a horseshoe. Uh, looked like a little piece of jewelry because <laughs> he was so big. <laughs> And, and his wrestling move, it would reach around and grab somebody, and then he'd fall forward on him. Bam, it was over. <laughs> um, that's the way I kind of remembered uh, wrestling. But, you know, there's a whole new standard uh, that's been out there that's quite different that some people, you know, are, you know take exception to. Let's put it that way. Uh, there's a group of uh, women, uh, I understand, that have uh, organized a group called uh, Mothers Opposing McMahon. Now, I don't know who they are. They don't have anything to do with me, but, mm -hmm. but uh, they obviously have some concern about the product and the fact that the product is marketed to children and what impact might that have. So I think you know, that's a question she's going to have to answer. Uh, my understanding is she's coming up with an ad <clears throat> this week or next week which addresses that issue, but it's a question she has to answer. Um, I, I've had to answer questions about my Vietnam service. So, you know, this is all part of the process. Uh, when I first ran for Congress, I was accused of, of doing some terrible things in Vietnam that were, were totally false, but I had to address the issue, and the issue eventually get away be, went away because it, it was, not, was not accurate. She's going to have to address this issue. And, and the, the thing that surprises me is that she didn't address it right up front when she started running last year. Uh, it, it has kind of come to the forefront as we get closer to this, uh, to this primary. So that's something she's going to have to deal with. You know, when you run for public office, you get examined carefully. They go through everything. Um, my taxes, my finances, my wife, my kid, my, my I don't know, college associations. degree. Associations. Associations. Yeah. People have no idea what an invasive process it is. And it's interesting to me that some folks who are doing it for the first time, who come in right in the top slots, mm -hmm. kind of have a feeling that, well, you know, you buy some ads and you give some speeches and that's all there is to it. In our country, we examine our candidates carefully. And I think that's a good idea. I think it's a good idea to examine our candidates carefully to be comfortable with who they are. Uh, it's a good idea in public life and for public policy to uh, examine folks carefully. And, and I, I recall this week an example of a woman who worked for the Department of Agriculture who gave a speech yeah. where a piece of the speech was put on the Internet and she got fired. Right. Turns out, if you took a second look, that what she was saying was taken out of context. You know, um, so you have to take a second look to make sure that you know what you're getting when you cast that vote. Uh, and that's why I draw attention to the fact that, that indeed, although I curtailed my campaign for several months, uh, I am now uh, back uh, pointing out some of the things that you have mentioned here tonight. 